Yo, what is up, Brands? It's your boy, Guppy Boy 9000, aka the Hentai God. And today, I am back at y'all with another figure review. And Brands, Brands, today, we are taking a deep dive into our beautiful world of Western waifus today. And Brands, you already know that, yes, this is a channel that focuses a lot on our big titty waifu anime hentai girls and shit like that or stuff like that. I'm trying to clear up my cussing and stuff like that. But yeah, you already know if you've been here since season one, you know that this is what this channel is dedicated to. But today we got to show love to our beautiful westernized queens and breads. Today, we are looking at Vampirella by Loose Collector. And, Brez, this is a beautiful figure. Like, just, just look at it. Look at the detail on that suit. You can see the sculpting of the suit, the sculpting of the nips, the detail on the gauntlets, and everything. Everything about this figure is just done beautifully. It's just done beautifully. Look at that beautiful upside down heart right there, Brez. Look at the detail on the back. Like, just look at that, man. Just look at that. This is a gorgeous figure. And on top of that, just while we're admiring this, this, this figure, let's just discuss why. A figure like this is beautiful, especially when we get one of a of a like a character like this from a an American uh, toy line like Brass. This a figure like this is so beautiful because like big companies like Hasbro and Mattel are not going to take the risk and other companies like them are not going to take the risk to put out a character like this because of how she's dressed and portrayed in the comics. And you know, when it comes to Hasbro, Mattel, other toy companies, they're all about family friendly type stuff. They want to keep everything, you know, PG so they can have it on the shelves at, at your local Walmart targets and other super centers and shopping centers stores, because those type of places cater to family friendly, you know, places they cater to family friendly uh, places and with that being done and oh, with that being said they don't want to take the risk of getting complaints from your average local karens like oh my god why y'all gotta got this this toy dressed like this? they don't want they don't want to take that risk that's why this figure and loose collector and other people like Loose Collector making these characters are so like, that's why they're so amazing. Because they're giving us characters that we wanted figures of for a long time. And when I say we, I mean, bruh, I wanted a red Sonya for the longest. I finally got it. But I knew other companies would not take the risk to make her. And plus... Other companies, they're all about DC and Marvel, like the mainstream stuff. They're not going to, they're not, you got, those type of companies ain't branching off to do like small, like comic books and comic book characters. That's why this is beautiful. So with that also being said, enough of me rambling. Let's just get into what she comes with before we hop off into the articulation. She comes with her cape, which is displayed on her in the box, which is it's OK. It's if if you really know me, I really don't care that much for plastic capes. It's to me, it just feels trash. And I don't know, I just don't care for plastic capes, but it's, it's, it's cool. She comes with her. Head, her vampire head where she's sucking your blood or taking your soul, doing other activities. She has a bat that goes on her hand. That's why you get that little loop right there. Because you can display it on her finger. 
right there. She gets her uh her vampire uh gripping hands and you could do whatever you please with these type of hands. Then she gets her holding hands with her two knives that she comes with. And that's pretty much it for the accessories. So, yeah. You don't really get a lot with this figure. And I will say that for the price that she goes for, I do feel like you can, you should get more. But at the same time, I don't really read many Vampirella comics. And to be honest with y'all, I don't even know what else they could have gave, like gave her or whatever. So I can't say she could have, she could have came with something more when I don't know much about the character and what she uses in her battles. So, hey. It's still enough for me because hey, at the end of the day, the real reason why we're buying this is because, bruh, look at how sexy this figure is. Like I said, you're not going to get a, a character like this from any other company unless it's like a third party, unlicensed type company or a small company that's willing to take the risk to put money behind something like this. Because they can't really give you anything else. So, hey, and like I said, excuse me, I'm a little bit under the weather. So, I, I think I already told y'all that. So, yeah. If I sound bad, I'm, I'm starting to come down with something. I'm a little bit under the weather. But I decided to make this video for y'all and give y'all the content. But, like, back to what I was saying. Yes, man. That's what makes this this figure so beautiful. And I kind of lost track of what I was saying a little bit. But yeah, yeah, smaller companies, they'll take a, a risk of, like this because they know people want these characters. So I know we just got done looking at her accessories. Let's hop into her articulation. And honestly, you can remove the hair. And that's really for the head swapping right here. So you will remove it like so. There's a tab at the top and you will plug it into the other head like this and that's pretty much a how you will get your head swapping going on now i do feel like with the hair since you can't interchange the hair she should have came with a, a second hair piece to where because see the thing about it is the hair is constantly flowing on this figure so i feel like she should have came with an extra hair piece to where it's just going straight down her back and nothing else so you, when you stand her still, her hair is just flowing down her butt, like down her back instead of blowing in the wind. But yeah, her head is on a double ball peg because and it comes off easily because that's how you're going to put this head right here on. Which it goes on just fine. And it moves up that much without the hair down that much side to side. She got disc hinge at the shoulder. Does the actual the um the average like action figure move up and down and stuff like that? Bicep swivel, single jointed arms. Now I will say when it comes to these single jointed arms, these do seem a tad bit fragile. Like I know on my Lady Death and my Red Sonya, these feel like very fragile. But on Loose Collectors new releases that they're coming with they updated the modes to have double jointed arms so we might get an update on this vampirella along with red sonya and lady death where they might have double jointed arms so be on the lookout for that if you don't want to take the risk on this right now you just want to wait it out until they re-release it with double jointed arms you can do so or you could buy one of the newer figures take the double jointed arms off of them and put it on her if it's like flesh tone matches. So yeah, single jointed arm right there. Like a little hinge at the wrist for the hands. Rotates just like such. Not so much in ab crunch. That much forward. That much back. She kicks up this far. And thigh swivel right there. Which... I hate how they did that. They just should have put it up here. Which this, I, I don't know. Like Mattel used to do that with all their DC classic figures. And that was just so trash. Like 
that's the reason why I never could get into any of the Mattel stuff because of how they did this. It was just so horrible. But I really don't mind it on this. But at the same time, I just wish they would have put it up here because it makes sense to have it up here and not down here. Because, bruh, ain't nobody going to be turning their knee down here. So either way, yeah, you get the double jointed knee. Ben's just great. Then you get ankle rocker right here. Up and down with the foot. And you do not get a boot swivel. And that's pretty much it for the articulation. So, yeah, this is a pretty dope figure, brass. A pretty dope figure. And like I said, if you want to go get her, she's at Big Bad Toy Store for like, I want to say $74, which is that that's where I got mine. And while we're at it, we're going to do some size comparisons. And we're going to go back to Red Sonya, bring her in here. And yeah, there she is, Brass. These are beautiful. We're going to bring in a Marvel Legends. There goes Mary Jane. And I'm going to compare her mainly to like, like six inch, um, just like Marvel Legends and stuff like that. Because, to be honest, that's really what you're going to be posing this with. You're not going to be posing this with, with your Taman and Asagis or your Super Sonic Coles and stuff like that. Because art style, you're going to be posing this with your Marvel Legends. And here she is next to a spinnerette. And as you can see, she stands taller than the average Marvel Legends female. Here she is next to a Marvel Legends spiral figure. Yeah, like she stands way taller than spiral. Yeah, she stands super taller than spiral. And I love this spiral figure. I don't know what it is about females with multiple arms but for some odd reason i just i just dig it for some reason i just dig it this is a beautiful figure i love i love this spiral man this is beautiful just imagine what you could do with all them arms now moving her out the way here she is next to the waifu of all waifus here she is next to Elastigirl or Mrs. Incredible. And I love that figure, man. Like, don't ask me why, but just know that Elastigirl or Mrs. Incredible, she like Mrs. Incredible can get it. She, she's amazing. Like, that's that is the most perfect MILF of all time. I don't care what nobody say. That is the most beautiful MILF of all time. And I actually hope we actually get like better figures of her and i guess you could say the other characters but really i just care about her like this is my favorite character for obvious reasons i mean look at the cheeks on this character so getting that out the way here she is next to here she is next to a storm's collectibles and surprisingly, she stands around the same height, but a tad bit taller than Storm Collectibles' Cammy. Here she is next to Storm Collectibles' Jewelry. And she stands... She stands literally right at, yeah, she's about as tall as the Storm Collectibles figures. And bringing in some actual Marvel Legends, move these girls out the way. Here she is next to a maggot figure 
which I like this figure a lot. This dude right here makes for a great thug for a lot of world buildings and stuff like that. So yeah, she goes great with this guy. He's taller than her. She's about like showed like no, well yeah. Of course he's taller than her. So yeah. She scales well with a lot of your with a lot of your like Marvel Legends and your Storm collectibles. And if you want to see her next to a, which I don't see why you would want to, but hey, here she is next to a SH Figure Arts uh, Vegito. Or not a SH Figure Arts, a Kong Studios uh, Vegito with a demonical fit Vegito head on it, which is still technically SH Figure Arts, but I mean, hey, we're not going to get into that discussion. And, ooh. Here she is standing next to the Roman key body. Which she stands taller than the Roman key body. And while we're at it. Just know that I'm going to do a kick batch with waifus part two. And we're going to see other head swaps with certain other bodies that I got. That I didn't show in the previous video. But other than that. Yeah man. Like this is a beautiful figure. I just wanted to give y'all a quick review of this figure. It's an amazing figure. If y'all like it. Go see it. I mean if y'all like it. Go see it. If y'all like it. Go buy it. <laughs> like yeah man. Like bro. I am under the weather. So my thoughts and stuff is not really all that well. But hey. Yeah if y'all like the figure man. Go buy it. And you can find it at Big Bad Toy Stores. It's an amazing figure. It poses well. She's beautiful. And it is a sexy figure, Brass. Like, just like I said, just look at this figure. You don't like. <laughs> here you go. Right. Like, and I just did that. Yeah. Here you go, Brass. Just look at the plot. That right there is all the motivation you need to go get this figure. And I do plan on getting Tarna from Heavy Metal, but I never got around to getting it because <clears throat> I just wasn't, wasn't, wasn't able to get around to getting it. But yeah, I do plan on getting Tarna because that's really my favorite character that they've done really made out like next to Red Sonya. I just wanted to get this one because I thought it was amazing. So with that being said, hey, if you like it, go buy it. Thanks for tuning in. I will catch you guys next time.